But yeah, we're going to get into it. So, will the Saints get to the playoffs? Let's talk about it. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is Keith. I do Black Quarterback Series videos. Um, links to all my socials will be in the description. Like, sub, follow, all that great stuff that you've been doing for about 10 years now. Um... If you want to follow me in the rest of my journey, because I talk about black quarterbacks with this, I also talk about a little, I'm going to start talking about a little bit more this season, uh, kind of branch out a little bit, uh, but my main focus is still be black quarterbacks, but if you want to follow my journey, the link to the whole, to every schedule review I've done up to this point will be up in the card above, so let's get into it. So, we're talking about famous Jameis Winston, the 30 for 30 guy. The most, one of the most normal enigmas or whatever you want to call it in the NFL. Um, he, he's a great, I wouldn't say he's a great quarterback, he's a good quarterback. Like, he was drafted number one overall for a reason. Um, and if it wasn't for Bruce Arians giving him the short end of the stick, he'd probably still be in Tampa Bay. But water under the bridge, he plays for the Saints now. So, um, I'm, I'm going to take this with the fact that if Jameis play, plays the whole season. I don't see Taysom Hill taking a spot. So, we're going to go with the, something that Jameis Winston is going to play all season. And so, uh, before we get to the schedule, before I get into the schedule, uh, since it's Jameis Winston, we got to address the elephant in the room. 30 interceptions to 30 picks. Now, I did a video a while a ways ago, a long time ago. Why that wasn't that? Why that wasn't as big of a deal as people make it? Look, well, just the way the way the Bruce Arians' offense is, and you see the way Tom Brady looked at the beginning when they first started working with each other, other and all that good stuff. So, him throwing thirty interceptions was never my major problem. It was his mental from the thing he had with the Uber driver to stealing fish, and it's it's just up here his mental. If James can get his mental together, he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Like, top 10 easy. He has the talent. Top 10 easy. And he just got his eyes fixed, like, last summer. So, we're going to see how James is. We're going to see how good James is this season. And so, we're, they kick off at home against Green Bay. The Mercedes-Benz Dome, I've been there before. If I can find the pictures of when I went, uh, I didn't go to, I didn't go inside, but I got to see the outside of it. Um... Great place, um, and I think they'll win this season opener. It's against Green Bay, so it's going to be difficult. Difficult, um, but I do have them winning that game. Um, probably fairly close. First game of the season, don't nobody know nobody yet for real, so they'll be filling each other out, and I, I think they'll get get the win from a close one. Back on divisional matchup against the Panthers, um, and just in Carolina. Um, I just don't know what to make of Carolina, but. Uh, considering Sean Payton has been there for forever and same division and I just the Saints are properly coached so I think they'll win that game in the end I think that game will be fairly close too but I think they'll uh, take it away in the second half so we got New England um, I think I think they will get blown out um, it's away it's in Foxborough um, and I just think New England uh, will be rolling New England will be rolling. They probably would have won their first two games, and I, I'm not sure uh, what I had New England going first two games, but it's New England. I think they'll be rolling. I think New England uh, roll past them. But then they'll blow out the Jets, and they'll take Washington. They won't take Washington seriously, and uh, that defense is just ridiculous. They got three first-round picks on that offense on their defensive line. I think they're going to get to Jameis. I think they're going to make Jameis – Real nice, real, real hard. I think he's gonna throw three, four interceptions in that game. I think it's just gonna be a terrible game for them. Um, in Washington, I think they're gonna lose that one badly. So we have the Seahawks. Um, Harford. I'm there's no game on this schedule for real other than the, the Jets game that I think they're gonna 
get blown out. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. Not not the Jets, the Giants. Not the not the Jets, the Giants. But my point still remains that they'll beat New York. Um, so, yeah, I think I think it'll be a close game against Seattle. They'll end up losing to Seattle just because Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson. Uh, be a close. I think that'll be a close one. Now, the game against Tampa at home. We don't know how Tampa's going to be after the Super Bowl. It's one thing to be hunted, the hunters. It's different to be the hunted. So, and and they'll be at home. Tampa has to come to them. I'm going to take the Saints in another close one. Um, Sean Payton says a better coach than Bruce Arians. Um, so, I'm going to take the Saints. And then we got another divisional game. And they're still at home. Uh, Atlanta's coming to them. Um, I have no idea what Atlanta's going to be this year. But just based on the fact that Matt Ryan is a dinosaur and he's aging in dog years, so they can get that win. I just don't think Atlanta will have the. No, I like the tight end that they drafted, but I just don't think Atlanta will have enough weapons to hang with Kamara and Michael Thomas when he gets healthy. And I just, I just don't. By this point, we gotta have Michael Thomas back. I just don't think um, Atlanta has enough firepower in their defense. Is it was one of the worst in history. So, I don't really see that changing. I think Atlanta loses that game fairly convincingly. And then you got the Titans. The Titans are going to be hell to handle. Because you got two studs on the outside and you got that big boulder behind it. Like, Ryan Tannehill's job is so easy. Like, don't be surprised if Ryan Tannehill was like an MVP conversation. Just based off how easy his job is. Hand the ball off. Throw it to a Hall of Famer. Throw it to your young young receiver on the other side. Like it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's it's going to be a nightmare trying to figure out how to stop the Titans' offense. Um, then we have Philly. They'll lose. They'll beat Philly fairly convincingly. Um, I got them beating Buffalo at home. Um, Buffalo is another team kind of like Tampa. You were the Hunters. Now you're the Hunted. You won that division. You beat um, the mighty New England dynasty. Fail. And you took a range of the division, and you just paid Josh Allen. So, what do you have for us, Buffalo? So, um, I think Buffalo come out flat. Um, I think Buffalo come out flat in that game. Um, and I think the Saints will pull, the Saints will pull that one. I think the Saints will pull that one out. That one will be a close one. Uh, it'll probably be a 10-point game. The Saints will probably win the 10-point 10 10 point game. One thing the Saints will do, the Saints will put up numbers, regardless of who's the quarterback. And so, they'll beat the Cowboys at home. They'll beat the Jets in New York. And I think in this game, they'll lose to Tampa. They'll be in Tampa Bay. <clears throat> It'd be nice and muggy in Tampa Bay at that point. I think they'll lose to Tampa Bay. I think Tampa Bay will be rolling by that point. And then, they play Miami. Miami comes to them. I don't trust Miami this year. Um, I trust I trust their coach. I trust everything but Tua. I, I love Tua, and I really want Tua to be successful. But I don't think Tua is going to be very good, just based off what I saw last year. Now, I know he's coming back from a hip injury, but it just didn't look good. It didn't look good at all for me. So, uh, I don't think Tua will be a bust, but I don't think Tua will be the starter that very long. And they'll regret not drafting Justin Fields. Because um, I think they might have had a chance. They would have had the chance to. Um, so, yeah, I give the Saints a win. Um against Miami. They play the Panthers again. I think the Panthers will be the only team in the division they beat twice. Um, this one is in New Orleans. So, uh, one of the best home field advantages in sports. They'll beat, they'll beat the Panthers. I don't think the Panthers have this that good of a season because I don't believe in Sam Darnold. So, um, got the Panthers losing. Got the Panthers losing to the Saints again. And so, then we have Atlanta again. And I think Atlanta might be fighting for play for the playoffs because you know we got the 17th game, so they might be fighting for the playoffs. Atlanta's gonna be bad, but they're not gonna be as bad as they was last year. So, and also with 17 games and the new and a new playoff, they might not have nothing to play for. It depends on what Tampa Bay does. So we shall see what Tampa Bay does. And yeah, um, that's. That's the Saints schedule. Now let's talk about I think they'll be ten and seven. Not bad, but not like great either, especially when you have Tampa Bay in your division. So that's what I got. I got them at ten and seven. Um I think Jameis will have a good year. I think Jameis will be thirty and ten. Thirty interceptions, ten 
30 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Maybe 12, 13 interceptions. Because he, he's a high, he's a gunslinger. He's a gunslinger. So he's going to throw interceptions. So, but I don't think, I don't think Sean Payton will put him in those situations to be unsuccessful. Like Bruce Arians did. So that's what I got. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe, follow me on my socials. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, is he really the starter there? Is he a stopgap? Do you think Taysom Hill's the start? Crazy enough. They were, they were having conversations about that. So let's talk about it, man. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'm going to actually try to read the comments this week. And I'm out. I'll talk to you later. There is no foul. The ruling on the field is a touchdown.